climbing over that wall. Enter my enemy, energy element. I am an entity walking ahead of the pack. I really am out of my head, and it's evident that I will never be able to ever quit. Melanin fellow with hell of a relevance. Letters and elegant metaphors ready to set it off. Dead on your petty your levels. I'm ready and able to murder and tear He's all in the pieces of murk and embarrass. He's on a easily crumbs. Chill, it easily comes. Like breathing from beeping the sea your lungs. I creep to the beat of a drum. That's unique to me as I keep it a hundred. Leaving through regions and leaving the dumb. And feeble MCs sinking deep in the mud. The mud. While some of them keeping it thug. Like there is a leak in their mud. We better start reaching above. We hit it for economic. Decay what you thinking of, bro. I'm creeping beneath the Dumb. The service will purpose, I'm killing the liquids of what? MC and Shibia, no interest of me if their mission is weakening and keeping it dumb. Keep sleeping, I'm tweaking the frequency of MC and me and a piece of the puzzle. Breathing me, seeking the freedom and what? It means to be free and be equal as one. The nation is bobbing and weaving, afraid of the awful and evil. Don't make it their power to lead you away from the power preceding creation. See all of the leaders to take us up out of the season. I hate the law they're receiving and giving a living. If y'all are believing in infinite knowledge, it's breathing in hell and let out and topple the greedy. The righteous person laughing and tired of hurting. I'm asking a crowd of combated an idiot. When is the past the millennial match your rising the surface, snatching your life, these purses? I'm a little brother like Hakim. When I got around on a stage for a good amount of time, I'm grabbing the mic and the urgent, smashing a dime for certain, splashing the ice with bourbon. Fro gon' spit so crazy. Hoes wanna give fro a baby. Crash when he driving, you burning. I'm happy behind it. The speakers ain't working. I'm clapping a nine at your jeep and you're swerving. I'm black with the highs of a serpent. Back with a nine for purchase. I'm knacking the rhymes and the heat is conversing. Attacking his mind. I your people you worship here with a vengeance. Your fear appears in a mere sentence. Be the apprentice. Fro wanna track with Gavin Hawk combined with the beat that we murkin', drama unravel, so commence, llama in the shadows, no defense, calm in the battle, most intense, honey dips in them silly bras, they got to do me, I throw dick, but money clips and the milly cause is not usually pro shit, the ether rider, the freaking feed and feeble freedom fighter with dope steeds, the heat fire, the reason he beats, cause he admire the OGs, uh. With us, rivals fighting five of us, bitches slide with us. My dick is harder than elephant ivory tusks. Bath for mid bison, fight the dust, slime and crust, light for lust. Tyson biting knife, slicing guts, sniffing cyber dust. Filling their mind with the hate for the jealousy. Fell with the fuck is like with the LFB. I come in there, check out my melody. Ducking the melody, nothing they telling me. Never forget them. I send them to heaven. I'm in
We here, man. Two Mix Cinema, platformcollection.com. Hey, man, your eyes are red already, Parker Edison. That's a reflection of the, the uh, cabinet in back behind oh, us. Oh, I got you. It's just the lighting. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time tuning in, we are here every other Wednesday, 6 p.m., right here on Two Mix TV, YouTube only, um, sometimes Twitch, but mostly YouTube. Um, but we're here back again, and tonight is a very special show, man. I'm so excited. I just woke up for this. You just, we, Parker literally got out of bed for this. Yeah. 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 For the, this. Spe the special audience is in effect once again. Hello. Though. We went out and found all brand new audience. The last audience was horrible. Brand um, new. This is a brand new audience. Uh, yes. Boo them. Boo them. Bad audience. Um, yo, real quick. I'm wearing my talking chop shirt. If you don't know who that is, Gene Flo, man. Give it up for Gene Flo one time. Gene, Gene, um, Gene, Gene. Directly after this episode, I'm gonna need you guys to go over to Who's Music Radio on Twitch to watch Gene Flow do an amazing live um, set. I think he's he's doing a DJ set, beat set, um, and he's playing a bunch of music that he's produced. Um, and I heard the the playlist is fiery, man. So it's gonna be super super dope. Um, but yeah, we got Chesky coming in around 6:15. Uh, we're going to let Parker yawn it off a little bit. But we also got two mechs coming in as well. It's going to be a fire episode, B. Yeah. The energy. It's the energy. So surprise, surprise. It's the energy. Two mechs is going to be here as well. Chesky and two mechs tonight live right here on two mechs cinema, man. How's your week been going, bro? Smooth, B. Like, 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 like smooth, B. How's yours? <laughs> I mean, it's rocky. <laughs> it's been cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been good. I'm just kidding. It's been good, man. Um You working on remixes? I'm working on a ton of remixes for the simple album. Mm -hmm. Scored some dope. You're gonna be on one of these projects. I might one of these songs, allegedly. Allegedly. Um I've re I reached out to some pretty cool names though, man. Some cool names on the simple remixes. I'm very excited. Do you have a tentative release date? I do not. I'm uh, you know what? This is what I think I'm gonna do, honestly. I'm just gonna release them as we finish them. Because mm. the album's out. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And so the remix is just got gravy. Where do you get the album right now? You can get the album anywhere streaming uh, music is found as well as you could just go to my band camp, hook it up. That go there on Fridays cool. though. Band camp Fridays though, right? Rain. That's when we get to keep everything. Um, man, uh, I want to get into some music right off the bat. We're going to be playing a lot of fake four music, a lot of two mechs. It's going to be heavy fake four and two mechs today. Oh, baby. Um, so I'm going to just dive right in get us started chat room make sure you guys check in from wherever you guys are checking in from once again we got chesky and tumex coming up at 6 15. it's gonna be an amazing show chesky is an amazing artist if this is your first time ever checking him out um i suggest uh you check out all his music directly after this but this is uh one of the artists on fake four um really dope original artist named chris condy um He's been on Fake Four for a little bit, and Chesky's really been advocating this artist for a while, so I want to give him some love. Chris Condi, this is called Every Day. Um, shout out to Fake Four, Inc., by the way. Ooh. Oh. Every day I try to slow it down, I pay attention. Every day I try to keep my eyes peeled for the lesson. Every day I try to feel a little bit less tension. Spend some time all up in the fourth dimension. Every day I try to increase my own comprehension. Every day I try to act a little less pretentious. Every day I try to hyper focus my intentions. Stretch it, bend, meditate, and get recentered. Every day I am not perfect. Every day I make mistakes. Every day I think about the differences that I can make. Every Every day I am just human, every day I try my best Every day my best can change, like I might need to just go rest Every day the world is different, every day I must adjust Every day is a day when I must relearn just how to love Every day I choose whether or not I'm grateful to wake up Every day I choose whether or not I'm gonna fuck this up, yeah Every day, every day is a new day Every day is a new day Every day, every day is a new 
new day, I see myself changing. Every day I search for rhythm. Every day I try to flow. Every day I search for melodies to put into this world. Every day I weave the patterns. Every day vibrations speak. Every day I feel myself walking out towards my own healing. Every day I feel my light, even if that light is dim. Every day I know if I just show up to my fight, I win. Every day I know that now I have the tools inside to live. Every day I know that now my source of power is within. Every day I am a seven and giving myself all the minutes to figure out rhythms. Just making this moment a whole and envision a new beginning. I fused up with the holy constituents. Every day is a day we begin again. Every day is an intricate rhythm and the enigma of everything. Everywhere fitting together, connected by energy. Every day I'm alive in the energy. Every day I can find my inner peace. 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 Every day I am. Every day, every day. Let's go. Fake four, Chris Condi. Two Mex Cinema. Every day, every day is a new day. I see myself changing. up in there once again we got chesky tumex coming up at 615 shout out to fake four ink that's a vibe right there huh how little chris condy how little i love it i love anytime somebody doesn't have a look like the way they sound Okay, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of surprise. Like people catch me by surprise like that. Like it's not what I. I, I he looks kind of punk. He looks like he's got different influences, mm-hmm. and then he could wrap his ass off. Fire. Who, who knew? Who knew? Survive. Um, you got some music coming in too, right? Well, we should check in with this chat room real quick. Let's do that because this chat room is crazy. Shout out to Seven Octobers, Butt Salad. Shout um, out Mac Mikey. My who? Woo! Who's that? Mac Mikey. Mac Mikey, yeah. Some guy named Mac Mikey. Uh, October's the 8th. Long hair 5150. Rex 760. I see you, homie. Um, OG Hip Hop Eddie's definitely in the building. JAD 760. Morgan's brother. Yeah, man. We're going off. Mm -hmm. It's going off in there, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share this show. Once again, six fifteen. We gotta. We got. We'll have one more song, and then uh, we'll be. We'll be on with uh, Chesky and Tumex. We're gonna have a dope, epic roundtable interview again. Yeah. So Tumex is gonna be on with Chesky and with us. It's gonna be dope. That's what you get. Are you gonna people. ask some questions this time, man? Uh, I might. I might just listen. Sometimes I'll nah, like to man. listen to. No, man. No, man. It's the mushrooms. Who knows? Who knows? You got me a song though. I do. I do. All right. Um, can we do "Everyone Lies" by the Visionaries? Everybody lies, I think. Everybody lies. Everybody's lying. Everybody's Bow, lying. Wow, let's go. Micro Edison. This is the visionaries. Everybody's lying. And he does say everyone in the song. It's a part of the Sink it. 
When, when two Megs gets on, is it everybody's lying? Because people are listing it on uh, YouTube as everybody's lying. That's how it is. But in the verse, he's saying every w one is lying, right? Yes, he is. At least that's what it sounds. Is that what you caught? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what. That's why we have two Megs on. I like. He's well, gonna. He's gonna figure that out for us. He's just gonna say everyone's lying. Yeah, he's probably just gonna say everybody's lying. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. It's six twelve. Hello. What do we do for three minutes? I might sit here and just shout out JD760. I might talk about pictures okay. or pictures. People got NFTs. People got pictures that they get. I do. Away. I got something. I, oh, Eddie, can you grab me this real quick? I got people something. Got Thank you, bro. Stuff.com, bro. That's why you're the co hostess with the mostest. Oh, man. Bow. I got this. Ooh, that was vivid, bro. Right here. So I wanted people to see it for real. That's showing up. That's gorgeous. a thick one. Oh, baby. So somebody is going to win this. Um, some subscriber of my Kill C Ray YouTube will win this. Mm. Um, and it's, it's for real. This is real glass. Ooh -wee. Real wood. Dick. Ooh -wee. So hopefully um, one of you guys win it and let me know. And then it can go up in your bathroom or something. And just real fast. How yeah. do you win it? Uh, you just got to subscribe to Kill C Ray on YouTube. That's it. And then this Sunday, myself and Mr. Mike Mackey, OG Hip Hop Eddie, are going to give it away free on Chris Sees the Internet. Won't you dad go and do it, y'all? Chris Sees the Internet right here on 2 Mex TV, 7 p.m. this Sunday. Yes. <laughs> Win it. Um, all you got to do is subscribe. Eddie, are you choosing the winner? Yeah. Yeah, Eddie's going to be choosing the winner right off the subscription. Are we gonna, We're going to do that live, though, some way. We're going to figure out how to do it live. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we don't want anybody to feel cheated. Everybody's live. Everybody's lying because everybody's lying. Yeah. You know what I mean? We want you to, we, we're telling you the truth. Truly. You really can win it this Sunday at 7 p.m. Man. And I'm going to promise you this even though our producers will probably get mad, like Melly and Eddie, nobody on the team of Platform Collection is going to win it. It's not fixed, oh. it's not rigged. Hey, who is this? Who is this audience? I thought we were. We, we, we bought them. They we were at booed? Walmart. They had two for fives. Yeah. We got the ones we got. Wow. Wow, but none of them are gonna win it. Only you're gonna win it. So if you subscribe to Kill C Ray on YouTube, just give it, it up. Ish. Right there though, right Let's there, do this, though. man. Let's just jump into this interview. Um, how are we looking? How are we looking? Chesky's in. in. What about, is Tumex just gonna join us after, or? He will, he will, he will slide in like a home run. Okay, Tumex is in now. Chesky's in oh, now. Man. Look at Chesky up on the big screen. Yeah, it's like know. a dream come true. Yeah, I know. This is fucking awesome. Um, let me see if we got is you got can you hear me Chesky? I, I don't hear you, him you hear yet me? though guys now I got him. Oh, you don't hear me. Oh, I got you. I got you. There it is What up? What up, What up, man? It is good to see you brother. What where are you at right now? Are we are we interrupting I'm in, anything? I'm, I'm actually, I, I, I was in the studio actually, but uh All good. All good I was I, I was planning you know planning for this stuff. So. Yeah, dude, right. thank you so much, bro, for um, coming on the show. 
Yep, and we got Tumex joining us too, man. This is a special treat. Um, rarely have we ever done this, but uh, shout out to Tumex. Uh, shout out to Chesky Ramos. Um, both of you guys are on the screen now. Can you guys center out a little bit, guys, so the people can see you? There you go. There you go. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Nice. And hey, we got Should a live the, studio the, audience. The, this other way? Is that better? Oh, yeah, that's better. That's way better. That's awesome. Um, Alex, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay, man, you are live right now. Um, shout out to Tumex. Our founder, our leader is on the show today. He wanted to sit in for this interview with Chesky. Um, I think this is going to be awesome, dude. Let's just jump right out into it. Chesky, what do you what do you got going on right now? What What's going on? I know you got music about to drop, right? <laughs> I cause you know how I know yeah. I, I went to your Instagram <laughs> and it was pretty much uh cleaned out. There's only like a few pictures in it. I know you do that every time a new project's about to come out. What do you got coming up? Uh honestly, uh I just I just announced a couple of tours. Yep. I'm gonna be doing um a tour with Dark Time Sunshine Ooh. and I'm doing um uh, I'm going to the UK for my first extensive tour out there with this group called Ceiling Demons. And then um, okay. coming back around, okay, doing, I'm doing a bunch. I've been doing, I've been working yeah. in the punk right. world more. I've been doing, I started like a new band with the, with the homie Sam from this band, Get Dead. And uh, that's what I've been working on right now. But I also I have uh, the final installment of my trilogy in the works. As soon as I can get into Canada and get back up to, to work with Factor again, we're gonna try to really put the finishing touches on some of that stuff. So that's what's up, man. Yeah. Um, that's uh, dude. You are you have been at least for as long as I've known a touring artist. You stay heavy on the road when you can. Obviously, COVID kind of derailed a bunch of stuff. But I know over at Fake Four, you guys did this really cool thing where you guys um, and and thank you for inviting me out to do that as well. You Fake Four Fridays. Tell people a little bit about that. I think that's an amazing thing. Um, you've 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 personally introduced me to a bunch of artists just off that show. So tell people a little bit about that. Yeah. So basically, when pandemic hit, it was we. Uh, my friend Nikki, who works for Fake Four, she she came up with the idea of doing a a, a four four festival. Yeah. On, on that's that's kind of every four four, we do a. Uh, we try to do something special and she, she decided to book like 14 acts or something hmm. to do this Twitch festival all day. And it, it was a, it was a great success and everyone enjoyed doing it. And it was a bunch of acts that were associated with us over the years. Uh, ones that felt comfortable doing the stream because it wasn't, um, you know, it was from, for most people that they, they hadn't done live streaming like that before. So, um, even I was really uncomfortable. I had to borrow a homie's webcam and, mm. and do a whole thing. I, I, it was a learning process, but it went so well that we decided that it was worth trying to make it a series. And, and so starting in May of 2020, every Friday of 2020, we've had a, a concert with four acts every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern on, on twitch.com slash fake for Inc and uh it, i felt like it was a great way to introduce people to a lot of the acts i've run into over the years um from many different genres and scenes and all over the world so and it's it's been a real cool community builder and it kept us active in a lot of ways that uh hadn't happened before because it was just a, a nice pivot from our regular touring life and stuff so cool. yeah i felt like it for i mean at least for me i felt following you guys just as a fan and following fake four as a fan i just felt like it was cool that you guys were present like every week like every week you guys were present it was there there was something going on was that a big change for you as a touring artist i mean did you i mean did you like it did you like streaming yourself live like was that something you were into at first, I definitely did not. I was I was very uncomfortable just playing to nobody. Yeah. But over, I would say about third or fourth one I did, I got invited to a bunch of them during that same early time period of pandemic. And I started getting more comfortable. It's just like a different art form. It's just like a different, it's a different kind of performance. And uh, I appreciate it. In fact, there was a time when it was really fulfilling for me when I couldn't have any other outlet to perform. It was it was one of the better 
outlets for me. So yeah, That's I cool. liked it. That's cool. Um, how is it over? You're out of New Haven, Connecticut, right? Are you still up there? Uh, <laughs> sometimes I travel a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm based I'm based out there though. Yeah. How is it yeah. out there as far as um, with COVID? How did you guys deal with that? Deal? I mean, what? Let me start with this actually, Chesky. Where were you when they announced that things were closing down and you had to start changing your? I was plans? in L.A. Oh wow. I was in L.A. I was living in L.A. Uh, and I was actually just about to move out of L.A. And I had a whole tour booked that was going to get me back to the East Coast. And, um, of course, everything got canceled. I ended up staying in L.A. for about four months during that time. So, yeah, mm. I was actually in L.A. And then uh, right when the protests started getting really heavy, like I, after that, in fact, I was I was at – I got to – be a part of some of that um in la it was fucking wild and I'm a, I'm a felon so i was seeing all these cops um everywhere and like helicopters everywhere everywhere ever it kind of it kind of scared me to go back home <laughs> i was just kinda like i just drove i drove cross country <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, and it, yeah. it's interesting, man, because you are one of the artists, um, at least for me and what we're doing at Platform Collection, you're an artist that we've followed for quite some time now. Um, and in fact, if you go to the Crappy Awesome podcast, there's three or four episodes on there that kind of um, cover Chesky's history. And, and we've been able to see you grow as an artist and change as an artist. Um I want to talk to you about something that we talked about on the podcast the last time you were on, which is weighed heavy on me. And I shared it with Tumex as well. I believe he's in the studio. I don't know what Tumex is doing. Um, but he, I he's shared like it with he's him. He's having a conversation or, or practicing right now. Yeah, I think he's with Filiano in the studio right now. Um, but oh, okay, uh, okay. one of the things that was real heavy for me is you said, and I just fit, me and Alex were just talking about this the other day. I was telling him about this is you said, even at the level that you are, you've toured for years, you've put out tons of music. You still have projects yeah, yeah. that you will not put out mm -hmm. because you don't know how the audience might take it. And that's all yeah. that, that that's weighed as a fan of yours that weighed heavy on me because as a fan, when you told me that, I was like, well, of course I want to hear that. But again, I hear your side when you're like, I have my doubts because they might be used to something that, I am, that I've that i been putting out for a while and they might not be used to what I want to put out. Can you talk a little bit about that, dude? Yeah, I think over time, when you build up a reputation as an artist, you're also building up an identity that people start clinging on to. And once you veer too far from that, from what from what they expect, it, what it does is build expectation. Of it. And my first record, my first solo record, came out in two thousand four. So, what it, what's happened is that expectations are built, a certain kind of um, sound. Uh, you know, you know probably better than any, you you know as well as anyone that I do many different kinds of genres yeah. and um, have. Uh, was in the band Toca mm -hmm. with Cholo Lancinco, and uh, we we do all types of music. But I felt like at least the stuff that's under my solo name started there became there started ha having expectations that were that I, I felt like I needed to meet for people who are fans of that and connected with that and felt deeply about it and tell and and tell me how much it's help their lives you know yeah so so you get kind of in this i don't want to say you get pigeonholed but me as an artist I, I could do many different things i could do I, right now i've been in this punk mode where i just keep writing punk songs because it, it reminds me of being a kid and and um i'm really liking that right now but yeah. uh i don't necessarily think i would put that out as chesky hmm. uh or some of the some of this stuff that I've been doing, or even aspects of my personal life or um, history that I I feel like I almost have to edit out because they're maybe a little too raw or or um, not what my audience would expect of me. And mm. I, I, sadly, that's 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 the way that I feel. Even at times, I I'll I'll, I'll get out of that mode and be like, I oh, fuck it, I'll put out everything. But most of the times, I, I 
I pick and choose the version of me that I want to be out in the world. And I think everybody does, whether they, they sure. know it or not. They're constantly editing. It's like a documentarian. A, a documentarian is, is capturing pieces of real life, right? But they're editing exactly what they want to be out there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, like it's, absolutely. It's, it's all a truth, but it's an edited truth that they that the that the documentarian has decided to put out there. Yeah. Um, so it, it, hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, it does, and and it's something that. Um, by the way, you haven't met Parker Edison yet. This is one of my best friends, Parker Edison, the co-host of the show, Chesky. Nice to meet you. Appreciate what you do here. I bet. Yeah, I've, I've, I've tuned in ample of times I've, I've appreciated it a lot yeah um and we we've he has a podcast called the parker edison project um and we're constantly dealing with like the editing process right because it's a cultural mm -hmm. podcast we're trying to tell the truth we're also trying to um occasionally provoke things right like it's part of what we do it's it's we're trying to provoke thought we're trying to provoke change but a lot of the times um it is interesting on how the audience can misinterpret things or, or have a high, have a yeah. different expectation for the result that you were shooting for. You know what I mean? Like you start off with something in your mind that you're trying to accomplish. And then as we know, as artists, once we give it to the audience, they kind of interpret it the way they're going to do that. Right. It's kind of out of their, out Absolutely. of our hands at a certain point. Um, yeah. And you, you make put it a in lot the world, it becomes it. When you once you put art in the world, it becomes everybody's. You yes. Know? So that's why sometimes why I hang on to things for quite a long time, because um, right now it's mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as yeah. soon as I put it into the world, is whatever people want to make of it. Yeah. Do you? How is? Describe to me if you can. Your what is your relationship with the the fans? How do you see your relationship with the fans? What is it? Uh, I think I'm probably more connected with my fan base than a lot of artists. I'm, sure. You know, I I look up to people like Tumex, you know, so uh, those are my heroes coming up, um, people who had a, I got a deep grassroots following. I never really wanted any other kind of fame or whatever. I, I wanted that. I wanted that <clears throat> that following that will f follow you to the ends of the earth, you know? Yes, yeah. And, um uh, I, my and fan base would destroy you type ways. stuff yeah for sure yeah. and i've accomplished that in many ways and uh so so yeah so the connection with them it becomes a lot deeper than i think a, a passive one mm. it becomes one where people reach out with their deepest darkest problems i've you know i i've received countless suicide notes and, yeah yeah and like you know my i talk i put myself out there a mm -hmm. lot so my personal life and my experiences out there so i think people feel comfortable um reaching out about some of the darkest shit in their lives and so um that's been a big part of my experience and in fact sometimes it's very overwhelming for me and it could be emotionally yeah. taxing yes. for me as well yeah so that um excellent segue by the way because that's where i was going with it lately some of the stuff that has been weighing heavy on like us and in the collective over at platform collection with some success, you know, the stuff that comes with a lot of that kind of stuff and things change up a lot. When money starts to get involved in things, situations get weird. And I know one of the, the conversations we've really been trying to have as a team, is, and this was influenced again by the last conversation I had with you when we talked yeah, it was about, a great talk. Yeah. yeah, we talked about finding happy and if that exists and you told me, you what you've shot for is trying to find contentment and maybe not just chasing happy and that dude that was that rocked me for months and it, and it's and it's been weighing heavy on me because i can see how trying to be happy can become a full-time job right that can be a full-time yeah. thing it's and, an entire industry as well yes absolutely right and it's it's they try kind to of, sell us happy in every way whether it's a pharmaceutical company or a brand trying to fulfill um holes in our lives with let's say it's fast food or sex or alcohol mm -hmm. or whatever you know everything is just there to try to sell you happy i yeah. notice it all the time 
and I think about it all the time. The truth is, happy is fleeting. It's a fleeting moment. It's the it's the moments we barely notice. Mm. Um, so, some sort of stability and uh, of contentment, uh, con- content with whether it's your art, your family, your loved ones, your whatever you're doing. If you can find some level of contentment, that is a goal. Yeah. That's very difficult to find as it is. Yeah, yeah. happiness should be is a peak. And sometimes we don't even notice when peaks happen until yeah. after. Uh, very true. Very true. And Tumex and uh, and myself were talking this weekend about the idea that, um, and I talked about this literally in a vlog that we're just about to put out, um, that most of my, I mean, you're an artist I look up to, Chesky, for sure. You're, you're an artist that I really love. Tumex is the same way. I'm super honored to be around you guys. I can tell you, when I first met you, the, I think people are always surprised by, and if you can understand this for lack of better description, like the humanity in you guys. And because I think people tend to think, well, if they make a song that everybody likes, what else could you possibly want in the world? Like what else you've done it. Right. (laughs) And then, you know, uh, obviously, you know, you get into this industry and you find out very quickly that, you know, most of the stuff we do in this industry isn't, it's not designed to make you the artist happy. You know what I mean? Like it, most of it isn't, you know, and, and to maintain, to, to have to sell the thing that we love creating is kind of a fucked up thing to do. But in the words of Tumex, what do you do when you don't know how to do anything else? You know? Exactly. I'm the same as I don't have many skills. This yeah. is what I've poured my life into. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I'm I could with... have I could have gone on many different paths, and this is the one I chose. So I, you know, for for instance, when I got out of prison, I tried to drive Uber and Lyft, and they didn't. They denied me. Yeah. They denied me immediately. Um, just thinking about some kind of jobs I could do, it was really hard to find any kind of regular job. And so I asked my my PO. I was like, "Can I maybe take a week per month and try to do shows again?" I remember I I you interviewed me during. I think one of those yes. runs where I had like a week that the PO let me go. Yep. And uh, it was the best, it's the best job I could do because yeah. it's, I was a teach. I was a teacher at one point um, when I first got out of school, college. And, um, you know, that was difficult for me. It was limiting as far as time constraints and stuff like that. Um, it was cool in some ways, but, this is the best job for me, and it's a, it's one of the things that I've poured my hours into. Yeah, yeah. And I've become, you know, a performer and uh, um, um, proficient in recording and and songwriting, and that's what that's what I chose. So, do you um, um do you wrestle with the idea of pricing stuff? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, yeah. I, you know, I struggle to. The selling part is always difficult, but um, I think people more and more are just trying to support. They want to go out of their way, especially within our communities. They mm-hmm. want to go out of their way to show their support. They'll buy something that they might never put on a turntable. You know what yeah. I mean? They might buy yeah. a. $40 record that they'll never put on a turntable just because they want to show how much they appreciate what you do. They might just only listen to it on a streaming service, but they're going to go out of their way to just show that. And I've, I've seen that more and more, especially during pandemic that saved our label. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that that's amazing. Give it up for Chesky, by the way, audience. Um, dude, I, uh, by the way, chat room, we're going to take three questions from the chat room. I know you guys have been waiting patiently, man. The chat room is giving you mad love right now. Chesky, shout out to all. Yeah, no, I, I, I know some of my really good homies are in there. Long hair. Yeah. Yeah. Craig. So. Yeah. yeah, man. So yeah, guys, uh, get up three questions. We'll take three questions. Parker, whenever you see them, rattle them off. Um, dude, talk to us about, I'm going to just be straight up. Talk to me about, uh, the first time you met Tumex. First time I met Tumex, yeah. uh, 
I was probably like 18 or 19 years old. So, uh, well, he pro- he won't actually remember the first time I met him. <laughs> I'm so- Should I talk about the first time I ever, ever met yes, him? Yes, yes, yes. Because yeah. I-, I share the same, okay. too. He doesn't remember the first time I met him, either. He won't remember the first time I met him because it was in passing as a fan. And it's funny because then we became fucking family, you know? Yeah. And I ended up... But, uh, but I remember we... I forgot if it was, I don't think I'm, I, I definitely saw him at the broke ass summer jam in San Francisco <laughs> with the living legends and a team and Kirby dominant. And I remember subtitle was there and Joe Hello? Dub and I, I, I'm Malik. I mean, a lot of, a lot Hello? of underground. You talking to me? No. Okay. Yes, we are talking to you, Alex. Uh, I'm sorry, Chesky. He's, he's, Oh, he's the, Chesky, oh, the whole time you guys about the first time he met you that you probably won't remember. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. oh, that and he came to so my house? The real that he just came to my I house like, I'm just going to live with you? And I never um, met him? <laughs> I was, I, okay. I drove was it that one? to, uh, my or he friend, just came to my house, he just came to my front door, I answered the door, and he was like, hey, uh, me and my brother, or, you don't know us, but we're going to live with Pedro. you. And, uh, to and, that, and I was like, okay. Circus. And then that's what happened. I recorded a song with Circus. Or the story his brother was denied. I don't think you guys can hear, can you guys hear each other? I can't hear Chesky. I can't no, hear Chesky. Oh, now I hear you, kind of. Can you kind of hear him now? Or, or let me just tell you. Can I just tell the story of oh, that his brother will forever deny that when I met him, his brother said the Beatles fuck, and that's why I didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> he was like the Beatles are overrated. I was like, I hate you, kid. I deny that. <laughs> wait, Chesky. You know a lot of kids. Are... Uh, uh, wait, Tumex, can you hear Chesky? No, no, no. I, every time he talked, it just blank. Uh, That's why the whole time you guys were interviewing him, I, w- I was recording the verse for the Secret Savior special song, that special NFT song. Okay. I actually recorded it. What we, the whole time yeah, you were I talking to him, I, I just recorded my verse. I'm right here with Filiano, Long Beach's, Long Beach's own, and one of Philly's two uh, random dogs. Word up. Okay, well, hang on. Hang on, Alex, because we're going to talk to you. I'm, uh, Chesky, go okay. ahead and tell the story. I'm sorry. Because you got cut yeah. off a little bit. My bad, bro. Yeah, so I came down to uh, San Pedro, met Circus, and for the first time in person. We had talked on the internet a little bit, uh, basically on on a message board that we called LA to the, it was called LA to the Bay.com. Right, and I, I was kind that. of a, Deesky ran it. Yeah, shout and, out to uh, So we, big shout out to Deesky always. And um, he connected a lot of us, actually. This kid was like a big connector in, in, in that scene, especially in the Bay Area, from L.A. to the Bay, really. And um, so anyhow, I talked to Circus. I was a fan. And I, I was like, I have this instrumental that my band made. My band is called Anonymous INC. And we would love to have you on it. And he was like, come on down to San Pedro and we'll record it. And we did. And it was such a surreal experience watching him do his thing he like opened the lego box and had like you know 50 pieces of paper with scribbled poetry on it and made his rap on the spot like that and uh we recorded him on an eight track and then later that night we went to see a shapeshifters show and it was in like anaheim or some shit and uh we were just kids i was like 18 my brother was like 16 and um we were just sitting back and taking it all in, and and I, I met Alex there, um, wow. but but it was really brief, and it couldn't have been more than like a, it must have been like a year later, we we were connected through Tommy V, and Tom, and then um, we we ended up recording our first song with Alex, which has never come out, and in the song with Circus never came out either. And, why uh, do you know why? Because our band lost focus on our record and then we started a band called Toca right. during that session with your brother right and so then with my brother yeah. on the drums and um yeah so we recorded the first Toca song during the sessions remember we did a song with Tumex and a song with Bus Driver because uh-huh. they were all at the basically living at the same house and that song with Bus Driver never came out so Tumex never came out the song with Circus never came out and they all <laughs> exist and I remember I tried to put out the one with Bus Driver and he like he was like nah I don't want to put out this old shit or whatever oh so, man um, 
Yeah, it's pretty great. It'll come out eventually in some fucking format, I bet. Well, I'll tell but, you this. Um, we, we're we're, we're uh, hunting down Bus Driver to get on this show, so I'm going to ask him. Do you remember what the name of the song luck. was? <laughs> good luck. <laughs> what, what, what's uh, the name of the song? Do you remember? I don't even think it had a name. He did two or three complete freestyle versions of it, though, and we had we have multiple versions of it. Oh, wow. It was wow. fully, fully freestyled, and it sounds like, like it was written and chiseled. But it was fully freestyle, and um, and anyhow, then we basically moved in <laughs> to wow. the OMD compound over the next years. He slept on that couch, that so famous many, couch, many, man. Too many nights to remember. That's now this a... is before this is before Disky's uh, Disky and Alex oh, wow. lived together. So this is this is uh, in uh, Mid City, uh, off of Washington. There was a, a crib. It was Danny's, his Cinco's, and his mother's had a had a crib together. She had a spot in the front, and he had one in the back, and there was a garage in the back. And we slept in that garage. We slept on the on the couch. <laughs> we slept on the floors. I've slept on the I slept on that floor with like four shapeshifters. Wow! <laughs> like, wow! And bus driver on that floor. Like we we were just it was an exciting time, of <laughs> just being around. A broke ass time too, but also an exciting time of just being around other artists, and it was really inspiring for me. What um, is your yeah. what is your fondest memory of uh, Two Max? Of Two Max, yeah. Oh man, so many good ones, but uh, I remember, <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, touring with him in Europe, and yeah. uh, that's what the song "Dead Dear Diary" is written. We actually made that song in the van i produced it in the van and he wrote it right next to me in the van and then um it's about touring europe and uh i just remember this one time <laughs> when we we slept in a squat in switzerland and uh it was like a freaking squat <laughs> and uh and i remember um there's a lot of memories from that tour but i remember um he woke up the next morning he's like shit you know you're in Europe when you wake up on a bag of fucking apples <laughs> <laughs> you were just clowning the whole time being hell of American but like <laughs> the show. how there, old were you when that was, how old were you guys I was so that was 2009 I want to say so wow, how, okay. how long ago was that okay Wow, man! Yeah, it was still early, early on in my time of touring uh, heavily, um, but yeah. Okay, so, so let me. Was, um, I really, you know what? Real quick, speaking about that, I saw that you did. Did I see that you put out that you're doing some backyard shows coming up? Yeah, I'm doing a series with a homie named Miles Bullen in a new, in, all in New England. Yeah, and we're doing like farms and fucking. That's so dope. Land projects and shit. It, it's wow. all mostly acoustic. And then that's really dope. Uh, we got some questions cool. from you for you from the chat room. You want me to run them down? Go Are you, you got them? Go oh, okay. Yeah, um, go for so Morgan's brother, shout out to Morgan's brother. You know, Morgan's brother. Shout, shout out. out. Amazing yeah, animation. We've been working dude. together a lot on, on videos. Yep. Together, so. He wants to know, uh, who was the first person to put you on? I guess, I guess he means maybe mm. give you a shot. Maybe, maybe a bigger shot than maybe one of those shots where you were like, "Whoa, this is this is really happening." I'm a, I'm starting to become a performing artist. What was the big first put on? Maybe show, maybe feature. I mean, what was it? I mean, to me, that circus, like getting recognition from circus yeah. at that time, that felt like a big deal because because of that, Anticon started noticing us and eventually. Um, we did a song with like Soul and Dose, and then they they distributed our first record. So a lot of that, those were like our yeah. first. And then and then of course OMD and um, OMD. You know I can't Cinco um, working with Cinco and Alex and yeah all all of them. It's hard to say which one was. I, I would say first was Circus, and it kind of a lot came from that. You know because okay. he kind of was respected in, in, in multiple circles. Yeah, um, yeah. And because of that, he kind of, people took notice of these teenagers making weird psychedelic music with hip hop. So. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Let me ask you that right now. Um, do you, 
where does hip hop like lie with you as an artist? I mean, do you, are you, do you consider yourself, I'm a hip hop artist? Do you, do you consider I make hip hop? Like what, where does it lie with you? It's just something I um, grew up with. Yeah. So um, I think I'm just a songwriter and a musician and um, like rapping and beat, making they're just tools just like any other instrument um, yeah. that i've learned over the over the years dope and so um, uh but but i have a deeper uh, i have a deep respect for hip-hop though and its history and i know more about hip-hop history than probably almost any other genre i yeah maybe i've maybe dove deeper into hip-hop than any other genre so it's but I don't know. It's hard to call me just a hip hop artist. I think it's incorrect. Sure. You know? Yeah, I agree. I would agree with that. Um, okay, last one from the chat. Um, well, yeah, of course you knew this was coming. Medicine Eleven Eleven is asking future collabs with Tumex? Question mark. I'm trying. Yeah, <laughs> actually, you know, funny enough, we are, we did a new song. Oh wow! Uh, recently, and it's just a like a fun rap thing um, with the homie Sam from Get Dead. In fact, we were just listening to it with um, Fat Mike from NoFX over here, and he was feeling—he was like playing bass lines over it and shit. And uh, so it's, it's kind of this intersection of punk and hip hop that we're, I'm fucking with right now. Okay, so there you go, guys. There's a chance that uh, you'll be getting something soon. They're dying for it. I mean, we don't go a show without them asking for uh, your guys' collab. Um, you guys. Uh, you a Same old love song? Yeah, I mean, amazing song. One of my yeah. favorite songs. I feel like I've, honestly, Chesky, I feel like I've been spinning that song since I started streaming online years ago. Like, we've been, we've been working that song into every single show that we've done at some point. So the audience loves it. The chat room constantly asking for it. So there you go, guys, go. Hopefully there's another one coming pretty soon. Um, dude, yeah, before for sure, I let sure. Before I let you go, dude, once again, thank you so much for doing this, man. Um, and thank, thank you for you. taking thank time you. out of your, your busy schedule to do this. Um, one more thing before you go. I need to hear, um, one, I need to hear that you're going to be in the studio here one day for sure. I need that to happen because uh, I would love to I hear would love you to. do I'd a live to. performance We have to here. figure it out. The schedule the schedule's, you know, tough right now, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Yep. And, and then, uh, second dude, all I want to do is just give you your flowers right now, bro. You are an artist. I told two Max the other day, the same exact thing. And I know how you are with this shit. So just take your fucking flowers. There was a <laughs> point, um, when I started all of this and in my mind, I just wanted Chesky and two Max to go. Yeah, that's pretty dope what you're doing like that was <laughs> yeah. it honestly bro yeah it's definitely and i told two it's Max, impressive I got man there. i'm really impressed by what you're doing man. thank you bro. always I, always been, have been but this is great to see it just growing and growing it's really i'm i'm proud of you thank it's you great. brother thank you it means it means it means so much and um i just wanted you guys to both know that um that that has always been something that i've not taken lightly and uh but now that i'm here and and that we got that um yeah, I almost got to this point where I was like, okay, shit, now what? Like, that happened. And um, luckily, Two Mex gave me some good advice about making more timeless shit. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to keep making timeless stuff. I think you guys make timeless mm -hmm. music. And it's, and it's an honor to, um, to call you guys friends, man. Oh, man. I, anytime I could do anything... Uh that's hit me up man so yeah we'll figure it out i'll get i'll get uh i'll get to the studio someday we'll for sure we'll do it in person for sure ladies and gentlemen Anything. chesky ramos dude give it up yeah. um anything real quick chesky fake four ink right fake four ink and fake um, four ink. um chesky on yeah i want to say um uh, one another thing i wanted to say is that yes it's a song for fun and i don't know how it's going to come out but um i'm sure you've heard about the secret saviors of underground yes Hip -Hop. amazing um so Tumex, AWOL, and myself did a new song for what? that NFT. It's a super fun, just like spitting shit. You know, it's it's not like uh, it's not similar to same same old love song, but it's going to be on some rarity, some rare card or something. Oh so yeah, look out for that. Hell yeah, yeah. So. 
That's gonna be super dope. There you guys go, dude. A new song coming. A one one. Chesky two max. Bro, thank you so much. Um, we'll talk to you soon, bro. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Um, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace, peace. Yep. Uh, do we still got two max up there? Is two max still on? Yeah. Throw him on. Throw him on. Let's see if he can hear us. Let's keep the good times rolling. Hey, there he is, Tumex. What up, man? Tumex, you're on the big screen. Can we put him up on the big screen? I'm not gonna be happy unless I see him on the big screen. What's up, Tumex? Can you hear us now? Can't hear him. We can't hear him. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You can, you can't hear me now. Oh no, there you go. You're perfect. You're perfect now. Okay. Sound great. All right, cool. Dude, sorry about that. I thought you guys would be able to hear each other. Nonetheless, he told some amazing stories about you, but we got you on now. And dude, we talked just so for, just people know, because we've been talking to you. We've been talking to you about this for a minute. Tumex is definitely going to be making more visits to the show because um, we talked to him about uh, a lot of the a lot of the facts we try to find out a lot of the stuff the chat room throws in. Occasionally, Tumex will be listening to it and he'll be like, oh, that's close but not, not quite. So he's volunteered to come in every once in a while, help us out with some of our, some of the stuff. Dude, tell people about, you got a show coming up this week, weekend, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna chip in every, every week, every time, every episode that I can, now that I could zoom in, I'm gonna I'm definitely step in. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't hear uh, Chesky, but I'll listen back later on YouTube and watch it. But uh, yeah, we got a show Saturday. That's what I was in here, actually in here doing. The whole time that you were interviewing Chesky, I was recording my verse for the Secret Saviors of Underground Hip Hop yeah. song. Yeah, it actually a, it came out to be a one take freestyle. It came out really good. So yeah, it was really good. But that song has Chesky and Awol on it. But um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, man, we just did it right now while you were you guys were interviewing. That's him. dope. Yeah, he but, told uh, us he told uh, us the song was coming because that was one of the questions he got in the chat room. Is is a collab ever going to happen again between you guys? Oh yeah. Well, this one, this one's, this one's like a little bit. This one's a special, just a short collab for the NFT. Yeah. Because one of the NFT from Secret Saviors, one NFT, just a one of one, will have this song on there. Oh, this is that one. Wow. So someone's gonna get yeah. this. Yeah. One person's gonna buy when we sell these packs next on July seventeenth, when the Secret Savior cards go on sale. One person is gonna get one card called the Boom, the Golden Boombox, I think. And that card will have that song only on there. Wow. And that'll be one of one. And wow. you own it. So it's a cool little song. I just heard it right now for the first time. I just kind of freestyled my verse. I haven't even heard Chesky's verse. I just heard AWOL verse and I dropped the verse. It was pretty tight, man. I made it up on the spot. It, it sounded pretty good. That's super good. But, uh, but anyway, but uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, we, yeah, we got a show Saturday uh, in the city of Santana in Santa Ana at the place called La Santa. It's an out the house production. If anybody knows out the house. He throws all the bomb before COVID. He throws yes, all the bomb shows that they have out the house is the band. So it's a AWOL one with very special guests. I can't tell you the guests, but the guest is out of control. Like everybody will be talking about AWOL's guests. Oh shit. Next. So that's AWOL's guest is like, everybody. I mean, I, I believe so. Oh, wow. So, but, oh, but, wow. uh, we got AWOL one. We got fucking, uh, Elemento. Uh, we got myself playing DJ Mark Love, Indigenous. Shit, you never know, man. Filiano stopping by, maybe fucking radio inactive. I just talked to Life Rex, all he's coming by. Disky's coming by. Um, Gel Rock will be there representing the Cloaks. Wow. So I'm about to call call a couple other homies. We're gonna call the homies, try to see how many shapeshifters. I mean, some of the homies are out of town, but I know Radio Radio Rexall, Disky, man, Radio Rexall, Disky, Awal, Gel. I mean, that's a fucking shapeshifter party wow. right there. So. Yeah, it's gonna be down, man. It's gonna be down. Um, also, heard that uh, tomorrow I'm doing a podcast with uh, 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 what you might call it, Jay Sands and uh, El the Sensei. Oh, right. And on. I heard El the Sensei's in town. I heard El the Sensei's in town. So, man, we might might convince El the Sensei is a cool dude, man. We might convince El the Sensei to slide through. You know what I'm saying? We go, we go, we go. It's gonna be a party, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a small four hour recapture of, of what this LA Underground is about. That's so. Fire. I know you guys are gonna be in the house, right? Yes, sir. Guys We're all going to be there. Guys, Absolutely. Yeah. The whole platform collection. You know, you guys are famous in your own right. People, you know, people want to see Mike Mackey. You know, they want to see if he really looks <laughs> people like People want to see Mike Mackey, man. Hey. Come on. Me, bro. They're like, they're like, they're like, they're like, is that really, is that Mike Mackey or the Asian guy from Two Life Crew? <laughs> you know, they just want to see it. They want to see it. 
You know what I'm saying? The roast. They're like, is that they're like, is that Mike Mackey or or Sir Mix a lot DJ? Oh, here we you know go. I mean? So they just want to. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, bro. So it's gonna be popping. But yeah, I didn't hear the Chesky part, but it's all good though. I'm gonna listen uh, later tonight when I watch a uh, when I watch a uh, I'll watch it again on YouTube. I'll, I'll, I'll peep out the store. Chesky's a great guy though, man. Talented brother. And, yeah, he um, was talking about the yeah, first man, we, time he we, met we, you that you probably didn't even remember, like the first time he he actually met you. He said it was before you he moved in with you, um, and he had just gone to 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 get you on a song like he he got you on a song actually and that was the original oh, thing. okay um but then he said yeah he eventually moved in and and ended up sleeping on the floor the sofa the wall slept everywhere yeah bro i'm telling you it came to my door one day like hi uh cholo long single said we're gonna live here and i was like oh shit okay <laughs> like i mean that's how it goes that's how it, that's how it kind of used to, back in those days that's how it was you know what i mean yeah 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 Dude, you've yeah. also had, uh, he but talked about Chesky. the amount of famous people who've slept on couches in the houses that you've lived in. It's just an, it, oh, yeah. astronomical. Everybody, bro. Tommy, Tommy V, Grayskull damn near paid rent there. I think Macklemore. <laughs> Macklemore, Brother right? Jay. Brother Jay, fucking all, anybody from uh, Quell, Sleep, anybody from uh, from Old Dominion. You know, typical cats, brothers, any peace. I mean, et cetera, et cetera, bro. A lot of people have been sliding through their volume 10. You know, a lot of people used to slide I through. I remember. There. I remember times we'd be at your house. So people don't know, like, one of the ways we first hooked up with Tumex was recording his podcast, actually, his first podcast, Tumex Hologram Podcast. And just the times we were there. In fact, that's how I met Chesky. Chesky just stopped by. And then that's how I met Sick Jack. Sick Jack just happened to stop by one day. Volume 10 happened to stop oh, by. Yeah. AC Alone. Well, you know, that's really a lot of that is Disky. You know what I mean? Disky being a super producer, engineer for everybody, and also distributor, LA to the Bay with a big underground uh, cassette record and, and a CD distributor at the time. So everybody was constantly coming in either to record get something produced, mixed, edited, or to sell or buy their product there. You know what I mean? Like it was a shipping and there was a, that little room in the middle was like a shipping and receiving room for Disky. So, wow. you know, there's, you know, at any, at any moment there was like rappers just coming in, bringing in boxes of their shit, you know what I mean? At all, at all times, you know? Yeah, dude, dude. And, um, I want to talk to you about this really quick, dude. We, we had a really dope conversation when we went up to visit you this past weekend and I shared it with Chesky actually, cause I wanted to ask his opinion, how we were talking about this weekend about finding happiness, right. And, and having to deal with selling the thing that you love the most. But, and I told him in the words of Tumex, unfortunately it's the only thing that I know how to do. Like I don't really know how to do anything else, but art and, and I know you're the same. Can you talk a little bit about that, bro? Like about that struggle of having to sell this thing that you love the most? I mean, at some people like us, like people like myself and Filiano and like Disky and all this. So we're creative types. So pretty much there's a decision that gets made at some point where you in your own mind, you're, you're convinced that you're, you know, you're an artist fully, yeah. you, you exist as an artist. So then you're kind of, once you like really are like, I'm an artist, bro. Like whether you buy my shit or not, whether you like it or not, whether it's popular this year or not, you, you know that, that you're an artist. And so that becomes the challenge of how do I exist? And you know, the problem with music and art is this, the problem with the, this whole music thing is that we associate it we associate art with the selling of art because some people do make a good living out of it. Mm. So it's like, because some people can make millions off of it, we all think that that's the, the only route to go. And so unfortunately, you know, we dedicate ourselves, we immerse ourselves so much that sometimes this is the only thing we can do. And I think only as you get older and you grow up, do you, do you realize that you love this art and, and it's the only thing you know how to do. But at the same time, the only it'll kill you it'll dude hip-hop has killed me bro yeah. hip-hop has buried me in the ground people you know people bitch to me about shows and throwing shows and like you know i got people out there in the universe like oh i threw a show with you and we lost money in an investment mm. and we lost it for i lost 70 grand throwing shows <laughs> for the love of hip-hop like every night people everybody would get paid but me and it would be like hip-hop hip-hop and, and i yeah. and 
I love hip hop so much that we would dedicate. Not everything goes right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not everything goes right. But we would do things so. Man, there's so many things that we did that are that are losses, but artistically they were beautiful. You know what I mean? Mm. And and uh, I think that at some point, at some point, that exchange is no longer good for your soul because at some point you're like, this satisfies my soul, but you know, satisfying my soul doesn't pay the rent, and it yeah. doesn't pay the bills, and it doesn't pay the medical bills, and it doesn't set up a, a foundation. You know, a person like myself and Chesky. We're not married. We don't have kids. You know, when you have, when you, when you start growing the fuck up in the right way with marriage and kids and responsibilities, all of a sudden your priorities change. So either you get more desperate with the, with the art to sell, or mm. or you figure out a happy medium that makes you happy. And that's for me, to be honest with you, the only thing that made me satisfied with not living off of hip hop was getting sick, because getting sick made it was like god slowing me down wow i was running around like a like a bat out of hell and god slowed me down god was like you're gonna die fool relax and that and that's the only thing that slowed me down so in a way getting sick was the the, the opening of my eyes to be like man i love music I, i'm doing a show i like doing songs i like making money doing whatever but i realized that that wasn't the only way and as soon as i realized that that wasn't the only way then that's when things got better for me now that I, I, I try to generate an income, whether it's through like cannabis or through other forms and other things that I do, even, I mean, there are music related merchandise, all that shit. Um, you know, eventually with the station, you know, we want to get it popping so cracking that we can monetize off of it, whatever. But the point is, once we realize other things, that then, then the music went back to being pure again. Mm. All of a sudden, the art. I was just talking to Jay Sands right now about the podcast tomorrow. And I was like, "Yo, bro, on a, on a bucket list, your beats are dope, bro. You got to make a beat for me." I was like, "I got some, I got some, some, you know, I got some dough on a beat." And he was like, "You don't need any dough. You just need bars on the beat." Wow. And I was like, that's that's, dope. I was like, "That's right." And he was like, <laughs> "And you know, and there's so many times, there's so many times where we put that, you know, like, there, out of respect to my elders and a lot of people in this world, I like to try to, you know, be like, let me try to pay you for something." And he was like, "No, let's just take it back to how it was." And I was like, "Yeah, that's how it is," but. That could only be like that in, in, in a little bit of form, bro, because we all have situations to manifest. And right. so I think for me, the joy is coming back to music because it isn't, I'm not living or dying. If I don't do this show, I'm I'm in trouble. And it doesn't, it, it's not like that anymore. I've, I've never in my life, because I'm sick and, and my health is pretty bad, I've never turned down. Yeah, yeah. I've never turned down so many shows in my life, bro. Turning down like ten shows, and that's like the old me would have. I would have had them all. I would have did them all for nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but this I, is true. I, I can vouch for that. Yeah, bro. I'd be like, I, man. I was. I was like, I'll go for anything, even if it, even if it damn near cost me money to go. But yeah. I can't do that anymore. So now, now things like Saturday show are more special, you know, because because they're gonna be more rare. You know, I've been telling people. <laughs> Even before COVID, even before COVID, I was telling people, yo, bro, come to these shows. Like, this is the end of an era. So, you know, mm. I, I, I hope people understand that we're going to a point where I might just play two or three shows a year, if anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm hoping to, I'm hoping through Secret Saviors of Underground Hip Hop, through Cannabis, through just other means, whether it's merch, royalties, digital royalties, whatever, other little things I can do, other writing jobs or whatever. I'm hoping to not have to ever rely on on that kind of shit. You know, there's, there's people, D-Ski has always been a person to help me. My boy Sully, long hair 5150, who might be in the chat room. I don't yes, know if he's in the he chat is. room. Long hair 5150 has been a, sa he's a savior, bro. He's who's affected many people's lives and saved a lot of motherfuckers' lives. You know, Filiano, anybody that, that opens up their creativeness and their heart to you is, you know what I mean? It's, that, that's, you know, that's the kind of thing that, you know, I've always tried to be like that with people, but people are like that with me. I mean, literally, bro, like, you you know, you know me, you guys yeah. know me, man. Like, I literally exist on people's help. So, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to, like, really accept that and do hip hop because I like it now. And, and I still want to make dough off of it. But I think the passion, now that it's not, the live or die i think the passion is back that's you know? super dope man i'm super happy to hear that yeah, bro that makes me really happy hip-hop hip-hop is amazing bro i mean 
I listen to other people's music all day, all night, and just, man, every time I feel down, bro, I just throw on, you know. We were just in Vegas, uh, you know, last week with, with long hair, and we were like, you know, Friday night on this fool's birthday, we were like, gift the gab, bro, play some gift the gab, play some this and that. Who, who got some new shit? Who, who knows about some new shit? And Bluebird kicks in with some new shit, and we're like, oh, you know, like, oh, have you heard this black thought and so-and-so? You know what I mean? Like, wow. we still have that, that deal. We still have that like zeal of like, what? Somebody's got a tight verse. I want to hear it. And I think that that's the world that, you know, we're not trapped in it. We just love it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I believe so, dude. And I agree with you. I, th I think that's beautiful. Um, the chat room is, is, is loving this shit, man. Um, dude. So we're going to see you this weekend, guys. If you guys, you guys can still get tickets, right? There's still tickets available. Yeah. Yeah. Ticket, ticketweb.com. Ticketweb.com. Yeah. That's about a hundred. Yeah, there's like a yeah, there's some tickets left. So yeah, come out, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be dope. Saturday night, 7 p.m., 18 and over. Uh, dude, A Wall One, Elemental, me, DJ Mark Love, Digi Indigenous, Zena Loa. Uh, wow. It's gonna be dope, man. It's gonna be beautiful. Wow. It, like I said, we got special guests, like all the homies that come in, I'm, and not all of them, but you know whoever's in town, I'm gonna make some phone calls, and uh, you know we'll be having some special guests and. You know what I mean? Sing some songs, man. Sing some, you know. Hell people yeah. ain't seen me play a mix in like two years, three years. So, you know, have some fun, man. Do a couple old songs, you know. Bring the old man out on the chair and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what's up, bro. We're going to be there in full support. Guys, make sure you catch us all there this weekend on the 10th. Yep. Santa Ana, Elemento, 2Mex, AWOL1, Digi. By the way, Indigenous, one of the dopest DJs out there. And DJ Mark Love. I mean, come on, bro. You can't can't go wrong. We're all going to be in the house. Make sure you hit us up. I already said, me, Parker, everybody, we're going to have a bunch of stuff to give y'all. So if you see us, hit us up. I'm, we're going to give you a bunch of free shit, a oh, yeah. hey. bunch of free merch. Yeah, we got. We also made, shout out to Long Hair and to AWOL1, we made a 200 posters for Ooh. the Secret Saviors of Underground Hip Hop. So we're giving out the first 200 people that walk through the door get a Secret Saviors poster. So that'd be dope. Wow, there you go. And you guys already know that's it's super rare. I've already seen them. They're amazing. They're frameable. They're pieces of art. They're not just posters. So make sure you guys get that. Dude, Alex, before you go real quick, how high do you think Parker is? He's microdosing today? I, I think he's more than microdosing. <laughs> Have you heard him say one word today I, at all? No, nah, actually, no, I haven't. So he, <laughs> he, he's definitely the He's on that. He's on that. That silent wino or what? <laughs> yeah, dude. I think he's stuck, bro. Um, That's why you gotta you gotta switch him off for Mike Mackey, bro. He's the, he's the talk of the town. <laughs> Parker getting I mean, replaced Mike, Mike, by Mike Mackey. You know what? Hey, Next episode. I don't know if you know this, bro. Hey, I don't know if you know this, but Mike Mackey's already secretly negotiating with other networks. Oh my God! Here we go. Yeah, he's gonna. There's gonna be a. I, I smell a contract dispute at some point. I do too, dude. I've heard rumors about Mackie sees the internet, and uh, yep. I don't yeah, like it one bro, bit. Yeah, bro. I heard. It. Yeah, bro. I heard it's gonna. You know, break away. It's trying to break away, bro. I heard it's like. You know what I'm saying? I heard it's it's, it's one of those things, bro. It's like a Keith Oberman thing. <laughs> well, dude. Uh, I gotta say this. Uh, Mike Mack. You know what? Fuck Mike Mackie. You're here. Do you want to say anything to Two Max before you go? I know you fucking. You love him. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. Just, well, I mean, what are you gonna do, Alex? He's a weird guy. Hey, man. There's not. A, hey, there's not a lot of. There's not a lot of hip hoppers from Guam representing San Diego. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> the roast. Guamanian. <laughs> Yeah, see that got Parker talking. That was good. That's when you know. That's when you know Alex is on his A game. <laughs> hey, I'm saying, bro, like you know, what I mean, the night he can really corner the market on Loatian hip hop. <laughs> Golly, got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We're gonna see you this weekend, brother. Um, and then let's make this a regular thing, man. Make sure you check in more often, guys. If you guys don't. I'll be on all of them, man. For yes, sure. Yes, and if you we're guys good. don't know, guys, we're also going to try to, um, now that we got this Zoom thing working with Tumex, he's going to go live on his own show as well, Tumex TV. I'm going to help him with that so he can go yep, at least I'm going to bring back my podcast, just do it off the phone, easy and shit. Yep, there it is. 
All right, brother. We'll All right, man. I'm over the water. Oh, hey, say what's up to Filiano. What up, Philly? Say what's up. Yo. What up, Filiano? Yeah. <laughs> Making his Hello. debut on the show. You gotta, you gotta have him on the show. I am. Hello. I am. That's a, that's Mando. That's gonna happen for sure. Of doing my podcast with uh, you know on a certain day too. So yeah. yeah. See Let's get this cracking, Philly. Let's do this. Let's get it done, man. Filiano's dogs are here just, yep. just for flavor and Rock shit. A, Rock of Iris Science and Butch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, yeah, man. No we'll fuck talk to you guys soon. Man. All right, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat room, man. Thank you guys for always supporting. I know it's always the same five dudes in there. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> right, Alex. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Later, man. Later. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Tumex and Chetsky cool. Ramos. Tumex, Tumex, how are how are you feeling, Parker? I feel out. like that. I feel like you got stuck for a second. Hanging out, bro. Hanging how out. many of those things are you gonna put in? I've seen you go into your pocket at least three times since we've been here. Fun, fun, fun. Let me see them. Let me break them out. I can't even. Come I on, man. Even. Let me just see them. Not on camera. Fun, Good fun, God. fun. God. Fun, fun, you got fun. some music for us or something? I need a break. They got songs. They oh, got oh songs. the chat room's got songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat rooms, let us know what you thought about those interviews. Uh, thumbs up, uh, suggestions. Let us know. What do you, what's the song? Uh, let's do with Gangbusters by A Wall One. That one's gotten suggested two times. Yeah, Z Monster. Appreciate that. Uh, Gangbusters A Wall One. I'm not seeing it. Ooh. Is it sure? Are you guys sure it's called Gangbusters? Let me see. A wall one Gangbuster. Uh, how about want to want to do Feel That Way by Gift of Gab and Blacklicious? Get that respect. I do. Word. That's a suggestion from the chat room. All right, yo, yeah, for real, man. Um, R. A. P. Um, Gift of Gab. I mean, it's what a loss. What a loss, man. Um, big shout out to them. Big shout out to Black Alicious. Major influence um, for me, for sure, growing up. So uh, feel that way. Is that the one you want? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's All the right. chat. Let's go. Black Alicious, man. We'll be right back. 11, 11. Shout out to Maestro Sean. Who uploaded this? You know we like to give them love. Let's go. Up and early for the hope of a brand new day. See a homie you ain't seen since back in the day. Fresh haircut fitted with a fat ass fake. In the work we chillin' on a Saturday. How you felt when you first heard the daddy came? Rock him, K or S, hey, I had that day. Coolin' out with old girl on a fat ass day. Find a hundred dollar bill, wow man, that's great. Get promoted at your job up to management. Plot a long time, finally your plan is made. It's time I feel I wanna shout, man, it's real that way. Wanna think of things that make you feel that way. When your mama got your first bite Type of feeling when you went and won your first fight How your team felt winning championship games Celebrate in a huddle, dancing in this rain Have a thought, see a shooting star across your screen Put in hard work, finally you're living your dream Deaf man get his hearing now, income vibes Blind man gain his sight, see his first sunrise Dumb man speaking out, now he's loud and clear Birthday, your child smile so proud you wear Going in your third eye for the styles you hear Making music that'll thump for a thousand years Eating right, feeling conscious like health is first Said a prayer that's sincere and you felt it work Times I feel I wanna shout, man, it's real that way when I think of things that make you feel that way Feel that way Something coming over me Summer days more likely that you notice breezes Winter days more likely that you notice heat When I'm warm more likely that you notice me In the dark it's more likely that you notice light In the light more likely that you notice night Hungry more appreciation for that meal Dead broke more appreciation for that grill A bad day will make you really notice once it's good And I don't make things a little better understood Times I feel I wanna shout man it's real that way When I think of things that make you feel that way Feel that way Feel that way Yes 
sir. That's that good, good. Like delicious. R.I.P. Gift to Gab. It's been a rough few years for you, man. Hmm. That generation, you know what I mean? Yo, I will say this, man. If you guys are lifelong hip hop fans and uh, and you love hip hop. Take care of yourselves, man. I, I think a lot of times we feel like uh, hip hop is such a, a loose and free world. We tend to to overdo it a lot in areas. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Black Alicious. Let me see what's going on in this chat room. They chatting. Jason Sandoval says to Mackie Cinema. They chatting. Weird. The chat Weird. is chatting. To Mackie Cinema. Uh, we have security here, right, Eddie? Yeah. Can we um, can we remove uh, two Max? Whoa. Getting two some Max. getting some pushback from the uh, the fans, Eddie. You got to really interview these people more before you bring them in. Two Max. Uh, shout out to Rex Seven Sixty Butt Salad in the mm-hmm. place to mm-hmm. be. Mm-hmm. Uh, JAD Seven Sixty Rex Seven Sixty. Damn, Seven Sixty is representing, man. Hell of a day. Shout out to y'all. Medicine 1111, got your, got your question in there. Shout out to you. Uh, Mr. E93 till infinity. Z Monster, shout out to you, my friend. Uh, Morgan's brother, major love from the Chesky interview. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. super, super dope. Um, yo, thank you guys for the, the compliments in the chat room. That's really, really, really dope. Um, but yeah, Tumex is going to be on way more often. Um, he's definitely going to be checking in on this show when we have some facts that need some verification. He's just going to be right there, call away. Um, and then we're also going to go live with him. He's going to be, be bringing his podcast back on this network, live with him once a week, uh, starting next week. It's going to be fire. Uh, and then make sure you check out Tumex's show every Saturday night, Sunday morning. Um, if you're in the L.A. area. He is live on the radio. You can always follow him on his live chat, by the way. He streams it live the entire time. Mm. So, but Salad is 760 as well. There's a lot. Dude, 760 is dominating. Today. Dominating. It's the prevalent zip code. It's the prevalent zip code. Thank there you, Parker. Code. Yeah. Thank you. The, the greatest color man in the industry, Parker Edison. There you go. Um, dude, what's up with the podcast? People are sad. They're like, dude, is the podcast gone? Is it's, it is it not coming back? What's happening? It's not entirely. We're going to find out. But Uh-oh. how long do we, what time is it? It's 7.18. We got to throw got, some more songs. We got, there. yeah, yeah. We got like room for two or three more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, I want to get this one in there. Okay. I really want to see this gag buster. That, that, uh, Z gag? Was, gag. It wasn't gang. It was okay. gag buster. Gag. It's a funny way of spelling sun buster. Hmm. <laughs> A one one factory uh, one rhythm. Is that is that showing up? I'm not seeing it, man. He has it's a floating picture behind us. I okay. got this A wall one f- and factor featuring Chesky and Gregory Pepper back then. I mean that's just as good, right? I'm I'm game. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Gregory Pepper. We got, we'll, we'll get two more from the chat room. So get us uh, two more from the chat room, please. Yeah, there's some something. I like this video already. By the way, we got AWOL 1 coming up on this show, confirmed. Huh? 
AWOL 1 live this weekend. Maybe AWOL 1's uh, guest is LMFAO. That's who Mike Mackey thinks it is. LMNO. Yeah, that would be dope. That's a cool video. I'm glad we stumbled onto that one. It's different. AWOL 1, Factor. Shout out to Factor, amazing producer. He's somebody I like to get on the show. Chesky and Gregory Pepper back then. Different. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, what else we got? Oh my gosh. Yes. Becky, look <laughs> at the chat room. It's like, ran out of words. Um. There's so much. Sun God Sons. I love that dog. <laughs> okay. Sun God Sons? Sun God Sons. Uh-huh. Uh, there's no song with Sun now. God Sons? I thought we we're not playing. So who okay. asked for that? Mike Mackey? I, 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 it might have been. He asked every week. I jumped out of that one. Yeah. Jumped you out. jump right. Pretend like you didn't see that one. Okay. 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 Now I'm looking for other ones. I'm yeah. Looking he for almost suggestions got you again. See room. that? You got to pay attention, man. I'm looking for suggestions in the chat room. <laughs> Songs in the chat room. Songs in the chat room. Uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a Chesky song right now while you look, and then we'll that. play one more from the chat room after that. Do that. Do that. Songs from the chat room. Oh yeah. I'm gonna okay. play. Um, what you got? I want to play. Yeah, this one. I love this one. Hello, dog. Here's some uh, Chesky electrocardiographs. Factor again on the beat. <sighs> Catholic schoolboys rule nine fingers to the sun. Happy you woke. I woke up fully clothed and broke as fuck. So repressed that I cringe when British folks say the word cunt. Systemically made us felons so we would never hold their guns. Only higher shooters. Never been to Hooters If this was Los Angeles in 92 I'd be a looter Kanye sends dick pics I send dog pics How the hell am I 36 and so fucking defiant Swam back to the trap Notice most trap rappers are clients Like clockwork Our country's blessed and obsessed with ultra violence Working in the drug world You see a lot of grown men crying I was actually born in July Most of these guys are Leo's lying Touch a lot of dollars all of it I owe to others Never wanted to fuck with crack after I saw it Fuck my father This life has a lot to offer Sweet poisonous kisses from the lips of priests or devil's daughters Precious vixen mistresses quick to spit the venomous Sick for several sicknesses Severing heads with liquid sediment Sentiment slide like sedimentary mud These fuckers won't take me alive I'll touch what I've done Then I break in my prime and I'm too fat to run So I'll die Holy fuck Like the body of Christ inside of a nun's cunt No, 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 that's too much you're supposed to pose as a poet, not grow into another punch-drunk punk. 
Today I'm overthinking of a population that voted for Trump Of the one time in junior high when a little boy called me skunk Because he saw my skin was light but I wasn't white enough Thought English wasn't my mother tongue cause my family was Puerto Rican Suburban Connecticut kids laughed at a name that sounded foreign Never quite fit in with the other ones on the teacher's attendance list In California when I was 11 they asked me to talk Mexican Got so sick of explaining that eventually I just said yes, 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 that's fine Everything is a test, everything falls in line Like flat ones and electrocardiographs when we die Everything is a test, I against I against I In the meantime use those brains to redefine that life Everything is a test, everything falls in line like flat ones on electrocardiographs when we die. Everything is a test. Everything falls in line. Like flat ones on electrocardiographs when we die. There you go. Crazy. Crazy. Shout yeah. out to Chesky, man. That was crazy. Bars, bars, bars. All right, we got one more, Parker. That's it. We're giving him one more. And that's it. We got to go, man. Here's a song suggestion for y'all. The Good Brother by AC Alone, Bus Driver, 2 Max, Abstract Rude, and Pigeon John. Okay. So, good the, the Good Brother? The Good Brother okay. seems to be the name of it by AC Alone and a whole bunch of other people. Shout out the, the, the floating picture behind us. Spooky do. Scary shit. A-C-E-Y-A. Oh, the Good Brothers. Yeah, it's here it is. Uh, it is uh, featuring AC Alone, uh, Cycle Bitch, uh, The Grouch, uh, and PSC. Oh, but here's another one. The Good Brothers. Oh, it's from the album, The Good Brothers. Oh. So they want to hear the one called Superstar with two mechs, Abstract Rude, that Bus one. Driver, Phoenix Orion. This The Good Brothers. Guys, hey, we're kind of like The Good Brothers. Sort of. Sort of. Uh, Tumex Cinema every other Wednesday um, right here on Tumex TV YouTube and we're using that Tumex name all day just juicing it up <laughs> see you guys next time yeah say you wanna be a superstar GPs that's what we are from the styles you can't get far you just shot call your music with the car you think it's easy being a real GP but in this game for years you can't see me you got to whack and I'm thinking you grab it's like we're rap Secret Taylor is an underground hip hop clothes sheep in the Southland having to comb the beach for a cow trans never pulls you reach it off the south guys right after this show we need you guys to go over to Twitch TV Who's Music Radio Who's Music radio. Gene Flo is going to be doing a live set right after this show. Go over there on Twitch. Twitch Shout TV. out to to Gene Flo. Make sure you tell him Two Max TV sent you. And a group See you guys next time. And a thousand strands of dominant genes, a pockets of dreams, so make an opera of machines out of a federal database. The talk of the teens will march and scream. We'll be walking the scene and spread our auction wings. They know that any and every were possible. We'll perform over a rare volatile stare. She moved into a me for an evolical Michael Lowe for your playlist. I bet your homie your stasis. Come on, the homies are waiters. At the Apple Life baggage claim, not for the average lane, but for the good brother. You are aware that you were those good hunter. Well, I'm sat in the back of the radio shack with the axe and the fat sack hat to the back and the Jack to the soul crack, to the rap pack Nap to the slow back, to the road tracks Fall back back like a flapjack sack But I'm black and an acrobat and another fact I'm a wax, I'm a tax, I'm a break a back Good brother rap, on the attack, huh? Say you wanna be a superstar GBs, that's what we are Clumming styles, you can't get far Use a shot called and meet me with the car You think it's easy being a real GB But in this game for years, you can't see me You got to whack and I'm thinking you grab It's like the rap is gone and we're bringing it back ah! It's far, can't give up now It's hard to make it in this town No card, you can't get a brown Guitar surround sound That's all that's calming you down Picking me up off the ground Get chicken scooped by a trucker Can you give me to the Greyhound? There's no escaping this life You chose your fate, so just fight You made your bed, lay your head Your brother's gonna wish you good night All the sacrifices it took to put you in the place With you could win the race for us Well worth the wait, cause we paid the price on these mics again Ain't nobody fade us So you wanna be a superstar GB's that's what we are Call these styles you won't get far You shot call to meet me at the bar You think it's easy for you to real GB When this game begins you can't see me You got the whack and I'm sick of your crap It's like we're rappers gone and I'm bringing them to the next Altruistic, altered 
the future in the not too distant It's not accidental, it's occidental Ox in the middle, rock over bone, toxic to Mendoz Tactical Eskimo, attack of the infested flow Aquanic sack among all the infested grow To max accelerant, without the use of an irrelevant A veteran, a veteran, at the ancient art Of a double down, double header, letter spin You hella better tell a better friend This is the last time that it has ever been If you don't understand, you're a never been Thank you, thank you, and that's how you win the party, yeah, Curbservant.com, Project Glow, that's what I'm talking about, who you gonna call, yeah, yeah baby, and we love you too, say what brother, how can you be a good brother, put in an application, go on home, tear it up, peace. That looks good, it's a lot of beard, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of beard in this. Mm -hmm. You know, Our I complexions look good with the red, outfit. you know?